Jason. 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 We're here. Rosemary Park? Yeah. Perfect. It's just up ahead. It's not far. Come on. You guys are going to love this. And we're here. See? I told you guys it'd be worth it. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? God, I love this place. I'm, uh, I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hey, so uh, what's your name? Um, Norman. Hi. Hey. So. It was funny, wasn't it? What? What happened to Norman? Funny, right? Kate, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Kate, stop. <laughs> Kate, stop it. <laughs> Kate, stop it. <laughs> Kate, I'm gonna go check on them. They've been gone for a while now. Plus, I don't trust him. Especially when he's drunk. Well, it's nice talking to you all, but I gotta get him out. Yeah. Class starts in about five minutes. Right, uh, well, hey, if you, uh, we're having a party tonight for uh, Kate's birthday. If you wanna come, you can meet us here tonight at uh, seven. We can pick you up and yeah, sure, that sounds great. All I'll right. do that. All right. Let's see you all then. All right, see you then. I guess. Is that a poem? Can I read it? Can I hear it? You should have already heard it. Is it about Emma? We broke up. Oh. You should have known that. Well, can you at least read me one before you leave?
can you? I can hear what you said. Please. Please, come back. I can hear what you said. I didn't hear anything. It didn't come through. Please. I'm Alan, by the way. Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you as well. So Jason fell asleep in class today. And that's why you called us in? Everybody could smell alcohol and he was obviously drinking. Oh. This is the second time he's come to school drunk. Well, we're sorry about that. Well, have you sought any treatment or counseling? Oh, of course we have. We've tried rehab, counseling, therapy. Did it help? <laughs> obviously it didn't. Does anybody in the house drink? No. Well, his grandmother. She drank a lot, and he did enjoy spending time with her, so that's probably it. Where is she now? My mother? Yes. We don't know where she's at. And trust me, we're better off not knowing where she's at, especially Jason. So why do you think she drank so much? Depression. At least that was the excuse she said every single time that she came home drunk. She blamed it on her mother. She said her mother had depression. Depression? 
Yes. So has Jason applied to any colleges yet? He tells us he's working on that. You know, Jason is a bright kid, and he has a lot of potential. We'd hate to see him. Yeah. Hello, Tom. Um, I'll be there in about 15 minutes, I promise. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Sorry. Work. Don't worry, baby. We'll get through this. This is not your fault. Do you hear me? This is not your fault. You're an idiot. You know that, Alan? Jason. No! Don't make it seem like it wasn't your fault, Alan. Because it was. What happened at Norman, that's on you. Everyone thinks that you're some great guy. But Alan, I know who you are. And I know that the great guy they think you are, none of that's true. You just had to upload that video. Now I'm left to clean up the mess that you made. So why don't you just do me a favor and leave? Leave just like everyone else did. Jason, open the door, hon. Mom, please leave. Jason, I'm not mad at you. I just want to talk. Please, unlock the door. Mom, please go away. Your dad will be home from work in a couple of minutes, and I don't want him to find you drunk and locked up in your room again. I'm not drunk, so please, can you just go away? Hun, i I'm trying to help you, but I can't help you if you keep... Writing poetry? Yeah. Is it about Emma? No, we broke up two days ago. Oh, that sucks. She's really nice. You like writing poetry? No. She loves it. Why? Do you? Uh, I write a few here and there, but I mainly stick to short stories. Like? <laughs> um, westerns. <laughs> Favorite western novel? Uh, True Grit. Same here. Favorite western author? Owen Wister. Same gray. Clint Eastwood? No. Okay. So, how about you read one of your poems? Mm, no. Why not? Don't use the same excuse you've been using for the past couple years. And if you are, I'm going to lose it. What excuse? The they're not good enough excuse. Come on, Elizabeth. Read us one of your poems. Fine.
There. Wow. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Thanks. What about you, Norman? Um, what about me? Where are you from? Um, here and there, really. Um, me and my family, we moved around a lot. Well, like, like the last time, like, where, like, where did you come from recently? Well, about a year ago, I was in Brooklyn. New York? Oh, wow. Uh, Kate got accepted to NYU. <clears throat> uh, and uh, Amy did too. I'm going to be a director, and Kate's going to be an actress. Yeah, we have an agreement. The first motion picture movie I'm going to be in, Amy's going to be the director. I'm ready for my close <laughs> So, did you like living in New York? Um, no, not really. What? Elaborate. Well, for one, it's too noisy. Too noisy? So, did you have any friends up in New York? Um, no, not really. When you move around so much, you get used to not having any. Good. Keep it that way. It's about time you woke up. Trust me when I tell you this, Norman. Friends always disappoint you. I think you've had enough of that. Wait, I'm talking to the kid, Alan. You see, friends always disappoint you. You expect so much, yet they just leave you. Then another. And another. Next thing you know, your best friend left you for a musical scholarship. And then they all just leave you behind to go with people who have problems worse than theirs so that they can feel like better people. Isn't that right, guys? Okay, I'm definitely just... This. No, no, no. Jason. No, no, don't do that. Hey, Norman, you ever been to Rosemary Park before? Here he goes again with Rosemary Park. You're just gonna lie there all day? Amy? I mean, it is a beautiful forest. I'm sorry for the way that I treated you. That I feel that you all deserve better. You did too. And I just wanted to say that I liked you, Amy. I really did. And I just, I wanted to tell you, but I feared that it would just ruin everything between you. I was afraid that you'd want to stop talking to me, being with me, and I liked being with you, but I really, really did, and I guess none of that really matters anymore. You're right. What? I would have said no. You thought she would say yes? You're a loser! Why would she say yes to you? You're a sad soul that's destined to die alone, Jason. You're a pathetic drunk. A nobody. No one likes you. No one loves you. No one. You're pathetic.
just gonna starve yourself to death? You don't have a better plan than that? You really don't? Is that your plan? Is that what you're gonna do? Just starve yourself to death? Come on, Jason. Think about it. You're so pathetic. So pathetic. Ugh. You're a pathetic loser. Why don't you just do what Norman did? It's not like anyone is going to miss you. Do you even know where you're walking to? You actually thought that this would help. You can keep telling yourself the same thing over and over again, but you're not fooling anyone. What? I said, are you okay? Yeah. Come on. I'll be good. You sure you're all right? Yeah. Where are we going? You already know. <laughs> hey Norman, let's play a game. Um, I'd rather not. Come on, it'll be fun. Great. Now, come here. What? Why? I need to explain the rules to you, but they can't hear. And why can't we hear the rules, Jason? Because that's how you play the game. That's how it works. Fine.
Alright, I gotta go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Going. I I can't do this. You can't just leave. You can't go back. I shouldn't have to be the one that has to do this, Alan. You're the one who uploaded the video. So why do I have to be the one that does this? Can I help you? Miss Banks? Yeah, and you are? Jason? I knew your son. I know what happened to him. Someone can get you? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, thank you, though. <clears throat> so, I heard you screaming outside at someone. What was that all about? Uh, <clears throat> it was nothing. I, sometimes I, I talk to myself. You do that often? More than I care to admit. I didn't really know my boy had any friends. How'd you come across him? Well, one time me and my friends were having lunch and we saw Norman and invited him over to hang out with us. Uh-huh, uh-huh, great. Uh, why don't you just skip to the part where you uh, said you knew what had happened to him? Yeah, I... I was there when it happened. When what happened? It wasn't my fault. It was it was Alan. He was the one who took the video. He was the one who did everything. He I wasn't even in the room when it happened. He was the one who uploaded the video. He was the one who took the video. He was the one who was harassing Norman. I was the, I wasn't part of it. Was Jason. Awesome. And what? Sorry. Where are you going? I'm gonna go check on them. They've been gone for a while now. Besides, I don't trust him, especially when he's drunk. Where's Amy? Norman, you should have saw your face, man. You should have saw your face. Jason. Hey, Norman, don't take it too seriously, man. If somebody doesn't know how to take a joke. Dude, what happened, man? What? You're gonna be famous, man. You can't upload this video, dude. It's already been uploaded. D delete it, then. No, 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 man. You're gonna be famous. If he can't take a joke, that's his problem. Come on. Really, guys? That's how we're going to do this? I thought that, that if I made myself believe that what happened to Norman, 
that if I made myself believe that it wasn't my fault, that if I made it, it was someone else, that maybe that maybe I could I could I don't know, I thought I thought maybe maybe it would help. Did it help? I don't want you to sleep at night. I'm really sorry. Get out of my house. Hey Norman, you ever been to Rosemary Park before? Here he goes again with Rosemary Park. Oh man, you gotta go. It's such a beautiful place. Tall and majestic trees. The breezy wind blowing all over your face. Bird songs echoing through every tree. Oh, and there's this uh, this rocky cliff that where if you stand at it, you get this beautiful view. It's really something. It really helps you just forget about all your problems. And God knows I have <laughs> so many of them. <laughs>